In today's video, I want to show you guys on how to format a clean and minimalistic cover letter using Google Docs. So just be aware that this video will be more on how to format your document rather than actually what to write in your cover letter. With the formatting that I'm about to show you, it's about to boost up and spice up your cover letter. Now, without further ado, let's just jump right in. Now, as you can see here, I am on a new Google Docs document. And what I want to do uh, first and foremost is to just write my name, right? So here I am, I'm writing my name, right? And what I want to do is I want to make, uh, I want to just pick a color. I want to make my uh, cover letter one single color, like a monotone, like a black and a something else color. Um, you may go with a darker red, you may go with a blue, but I love the color blue. So I'm just going to proceed with a kind of like a dark blue color. I'm just going to pick it from here, right? Um, maybe I'll go with this dark blue right here, right? And then I, I kind of like this color. So keep this color in mind. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, insert a drawing. So I'm going to go to insert drawing and I'm going to hit new because I'm going to create a new drawing just for this document. And this is just on the very top left, right? I want to have my name and my title. And uh, what is great about Google Docs is that it gives you like a little drawing panel here. I'm going to go to shape and I'm going to have a rounded rectangle. Now, again, you can be as creative as you want with this, but what I'm going to essentially do is I'm going to make my uh, title again, like I said, my name and my title, right? So I'm going back to this color bucket and very important that you pick the color that you like. So I'm picking this dark blue three. You can have your own custom color if you'd like, but I'm just going to create this preset because why, why would I make a custom color? Right? I mean, I, I mean, you can, but um, so I'm going to create this, right? And this rectangle is going to have uh, my name on the top. So I'm just going to type in my name again. I'm going to delete the other one earlier. So here you go. I'm just using the Arial font. You could use whatever font you want. You could just pick any, you know, any one that you like. Uh, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to use this one. For example, um, it's part of this one, uh, part of the random ones that show up here or Roboto or maybe Mo Montserrat, which I actually like as well. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of, uh, my name, right? So I'm going to make it one line and I'm going to increase the size until it pretty much caps out with this rectangle right here. So, um, I'm almost satisfied. So yeah, there you go like this. Perfect. Maybe not cap all the way out, but I'm going to make it somewhat, um, somewhat full. So I have this right here and I am just going to change the text color to white, right? Perfect. So there you go. Um, you know what? We're going to just center align this because why not? You get, like I said, you can get as creative as you want with this. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to align this centered. So now I can move this text box to centered, right? And essentially what I'm going to ch uh, change is, or add is I'm going to copy paste this and I'm going to add my job title on the bottom. So, or, you know, essentially my title. So I could be a, a, you know, software engineer and a content creator, for example, right? It doesn't really matter what you put down here, but just put down your title on who you are and what you do. And as you can see here, I kind of uh, shrunk it as well. And I'm just going to put this on the center of the um, of the box as well. So um, let me make sure it's aligned. This these red lines are kind of coming clutch. And I'm just going to make this uh, font color a little less like a light gray too, right? You don't want um, you want your name to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to change the uh, font color to like that. So perfect. We have this uh, on our document now and you could just add random things to it. Like I said, for me, I'm just going to add a random circle here, which um, again, it's super random, but I just think it's kind of cool to have some shapes and whatnot. Um, I just changed the color to uh, white, changed the transparent. So now it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a puzzle piece, right? But I don't know. It just it just gives a nice like aesthetic to it. So I'm just going to save this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save and close. And boom, as you can see here, uh, I'm just going to delete the old name. And you can see that I have just created my uh, the banner that I just made, right? So this is great. I'm just going to move this up here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also change the margins because I like to have my cover letter a little bit more uh, spaced out, right? A little bit, a little bit more filling the page. So I'm going to go to page setup here, file page setup here, and I'm just going to go change the margins to 0.5 on all sides. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And I'm just going to hit OK. So as you can see here that uh, we are finally having this little uh, design on the top. Again, you can make it as whatever design you want. You can add whatever color you want. This is just the design that I'm going for. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another drawing, right? But this time I'm going to add my socials. So my Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever you want to share to your employers, 
you can do so here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another drawing as I, as I, as I did earlier. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to flaticon.com and flat icon is where I find a lot of my icons, right? Um, there's some of them are ro royalty free, free to use. Um, but right now I'm just gonna look for the, uh, you know, social media icons. So I'm gonna look for Facebook and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal this, not steal, but I'm gonna grab this uh, Facebook icon here and I'm just going to paste this image, right? So there you go. So for example, I have this Facebook, uh, Facebook icon, right? And I shrunk it to this size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, Facebook handle and I'm going to keep that font consistent. So I'm going to keep that Montserrat font. Uh, let's go semi bold, for example. And I'm going to do, for example, at Jeremy films now, um, or you could just do facebook.com slash Jeremy films, whatever it is, right? I don't have this Facebook uh, tag, by the way, just, this is just something I just made up. I'm going to right align this text because I want it to be on the uh, left side of the icon. And what I can do is essentially look for more uh, icons. So for example, Instagram, uh, I'm just going to keep this black theme over here going. Now this one I obviously have because you're watching this video on this handle right now at Jeremy Films. Now this is perfect. I have my handles here, my social media. I'm going to hit save and close and boom, guess what? It shows itself over here, right? And what I can do is I can definitely just put this on the right hand side of the paper. So uh, you could also change the uh, the wrapping of this uh, image and how it's going to wrap with text. So you can, for example, put it in front of text and it's, you could just move it literally anywhere on the paper or you can do it behind text. But I like it here. I keep it within the margins. Right. And I essentially just put it there. I plop it here. So and I could do the same thing here. I could also do in front of text, behind text, whatever with the um, name that I made. So. There you go. Perfect. So now I have my name and then uh, I have my handles and my tags, right? So where do I start with this, right? Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to start writing the cover letter. But first and foremost, you kind of want to know which company you are sending this to, right? So for example, a cover letter is very unique to um, the different companies that you have or that you are applying to. So for example, I am going to apply this to, I don't know, Facebook or, or YouTube corporation, right? And then I'm going to type in there address here 123 Main Street for example I don't really know um, let's see to YouTube Corporation human resources manager for example 123 Main Street I don't know Los Angeles California so uh, I'm gonna change all the font colors to black again and I'll tell you why I'm keep I'm doing it exactly so right I want to change it to black this too right I could change it to a little bit like a gray color because obviously it's just a two right and I could keep the font consistent if I want to. So I could change this to again, Montserrat medium bold, and I'm keeping the font consistent and I'm going to just increase the size right here. So oops, I spelled corporation wrong. I didn't even realize that until like <laughs> a while back. So I'm going to bold this YouTube corporation here. Um, and I'm going, I already shrunk it. Oops. I did not pick the right font. See, I hit Montserrat it's not my bold. There you go. So now this looks more correct. Bold this YouTube corporation. Uh, make it a little larger and now you can see that I have this uh, cover letter already getting started and getting going right so now what I like to do with my cover letter is or with just a bunch of my letters or my document is that I like to add a little bit of design and patterns and stuff to it right I can easily go over here and insert a horizontal line if I want to but I am a little bit I got some more spice in me right I just I want to add some more. So obviously I'm going to go back to insert and I'm going to hit a drawing again and I'm going to hit new again. And this is the last drawing I'm going to make. I promise you guys this is the last one. So I'm going to create a line like so, and you could just make, you could just leave this color like a, I don't know, the same color, like a black color, right? For example, and I'm just going to add a shape. Um, you can pick whatever shape you want. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can be as creative as you want with this. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to add this little, little uh, triangle here, right? And with this triangle, I'm going to just leave this here, change the color to black and change the stroke to transparent. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. You can see here a little 90 on it. And I'm just going to line it up with this line right here. I want to line it up with this line. Nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that. And I could just shrink it a little bit more, just shrink it a tad bit more, right? And this is just some random design that I'm making. You could just make whatever design you want. I'm adding a circle here in the middle. Again, I'm going to change the color to black, change the stroke to transparent, and I'm going to just leave that there. And I'm just going to copy this and rotate it around about 270 degrees, puts it again on the other side. 
keeps the distance, uh, the spacing e evened out and also just keeping the spacing evened out as well. So essentially what I have here is just like a simple line, a simple divider for my uh, cover document, right? For my cover letter, I mean. I'm just holding control here, I'm scrolling in and I'm just gonna change the size of this because I think this is a little too large and I'm gonna leave that there and I'm just gonna move this here so it's equidistant. I wanna change the, um, the color of this line because these are the lines to that dark blue that I've made and also change the color of these shapes to that dark blue that I've made as well. So now you can see here that I'm keeping this consistent color. I'm gonna hit save and close and guess what I have over here guys. I, have, I just implemented that nice line that I've created. I'm gonna center align this and I could also put this in front of text, behind text, and I, I just like to do behind text or in front of text, doesn't really matter. But essentially, you can see here that I have my line. I could start typing my cover letter and this is where the nitty gritty would go with my cover letter, right? So for example, I just created a fake uh, lorem ipsum type of uh, content here and just the meat of your cover letter. If you don't know how to you know, write a good one, I'll post that link on that Indeed advice and tips on that cover letter and what you should put in it. Now I'm going to just copy this uh, line that I've made earlier already and I'm going to paste it back down here on this bottom and I could always center it because it's uh, behind text technically, right? So um, this one, again, I wanna make sure it's centered. It's nice, very good. And now what I could do here is I could do a sincerely, right? Sincerely, and then I'll put in my name again. And what you can do here is you could also add your signature as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab an index card and this is gonna be a fresh signature that I will create just for this video, right? All right, so here you go. You can see that I've kind of created a fake a signature here on this index card and i'm just going to use the bottom the second one that i wrote it just says jeremy films on it nothing much again obviously this is a fake signature not my actual signature so don't try forging stuff with this funny signature that i've just created grabbing my phone over here my trusty samsung galaxy s21 and i'm just going to take a photo of this now my photo is created i, I what i can do is essentially just email it to myself or just Upload it to Google Photos, whatever you want to do to transfer it to your computer. Now what I'm going to do is with that photo copied already, I'm going to copy this and paste it. And now you can see here that there's my signature, my nice handy dandy trusty signature. I'm going to crop it. Okay, so now you can just crop it just to the part where I have signed it. Again, it doesn't look the best. It just says Jeremy Films on it. I'm not a signature expert. Okay. Um, and what I can do is I could try to squeeze it up onto this page right here. And again, I could always put it in front of text or behind text. So I'm going to move it right over here, put this a little bit more down just to where my pen stroke is. Um, and I'm going to go over here to image options. Now I could format and recolor this image. So I could turn, so what I can do with this reformatting is I could turn the brightness all the way up a little bit to the point where the paper turns into a white, right? kind of, and change the contrast all the way up as well, or lower, nah, you don't, you don't want it to be lower. So turn the contrast a little up. You could again, fiddle around with this to make sure that you get that paper uh, in the back to go white, 20%. Okay, so perfect, there you go. So now we have our cover letter that we have just created together. And in my opinion, I think this cover letter looks really clean, looks really modern, minimalistic and it will make you stand out because of the little simple elements and accents that you've added. So for example, this line, um, even your banner and your little title over here, a couple of your socials, signature, perfect cover letter to send it. And you can even just copy this and paste it for different job listings if you wanna make individual cover letters, right? And hopefully this will actually increase your chances of your job application. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. I know I made a video on how to create a professional resume on Google Docs as well. So go ahead and be sure to check that out somewhere here on the screen. And as always, I will see you guys all in the next video.